Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see the first portion of a large Tyranid army that's going to be shown in this video. It's a great project that we have the pleasure of working on for one of our clients. It's been completed by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege. Let's dive on in and have a look. Uh, we'll start off with the main man himself, which is the Swarm Lord. Um, great model, really, really dynamic and what you can do with him. He's fully magnetized, so he can actually be sort of converted to the, the winged flying hive tyrant, and I'll show you that briefly. Um, as you can see, all the fine details picked out, all the sort of areas of chitin multiple highlighted with different areas of purple, uh, all the teeth and picked out, all the sort of flesh has been sort of graduated with different colors. The swords have all been sort of, uh, transit. they've got a really nice transition from a darker sort of red up to a sort of bright red as well, which is really nice. Uh, moving around the model just to show you the back, you can see all the areas of the sort of highlighting and stuff that's been done on the chitin, as you can see there so that's just the, the swarm lords and uh, really quickly I'll just show you all the arms are fully magnetized so you can literally convert and put on the flying hive tyrant wing there as you can see and again really nice sort of stretch sinew kind of effect leathery kind of hide that has been done by Simon as well which is really really nice so we'll just put the swarm lord um, uh, sword arms back on uh, but yeah it's a very very composable very convertible and the good thing about it is that to change it to the flying one you just literally just take the legs off and replace it with the uh, the flying hive tyrant bottom half um, no basis model it's going to be based separately by the client as uh, the rest of the forces as well with all the bases not being done um, but let's pull forward the tyrant guard so you can have a look at the tyrant guard and as you can see here, there's been various versions of Tyrant Guard over the years, and these newest ones are really, really nice. I uh, do really like them. Very armoured and tough looking, which is cool. Uh, as you can see, claws on this one, all highlighted, as you can see there. The chitin all picked out as well. Uh, really nice padded witch flesh kind of skin colour as well with the hide. Uh, and then just like subtle details of extra little purple within the, the joints of the uh, arms and legs as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's one of the Tyrant Guards. The other version is the shooty version, as you can see here. Uh, just same thing, but obviously with guns. Uh, again, you can see all the areas of detail, these sort of like extra soft bits of of sort of skin or armor they're inside the arms as well have been picked out and all the chitin as you can see there's all been picked out as well which is really really nice uh, some spots down the back as well just extra little details uh, so that's the other one of the hive tyrant guards uh, and then other aspects of this force as well we've got uh, quite a few uh, venom throbes so we'll pull forward a few so you can have a look at um, this is one of them and uh, as you can see there are loads of detail work on these models um, Tyranids across the board all sort of uh, finally picked out with all different areas of highlighting as well which is really nice uh, and you've got all the green dots there on the top as well all been put on there manually just to really sort of put extra detail on these models the inside of the funnels as well all picked out with a nice sort of turquoisey colour as well which is really nice uh, really cool models with all these tentacles as well as you can see all the individual little blades all highlighted as well which is really nice uh, so that is one of the venom throbes um, pull forward the exocrine here as you can see and it is, it's fully magnetized so it can be used as the other version as well um, just so you can see here loads and loads of detail straight away off the bat and uh, the magnetizing is done so you can literally just remove different areas of the model and convert it to the other or change it to the other variant um, but as you can see on this all the different areas of highlighting have been done across all the skin the armor uh, the chitin and also on the weapons as well some cool eyes have just been done on there as well really make give it that eerie look and on the face as well as you can see all the areas of detail all picked out as well the eyes are all done as well which is really nice uh, so that's the exocrine put him back and then uh, we've got Lictor, so one of the older, more sort of classic models from the GW range, but really still in keeping with the rest of the force. Really, really nice model again, as you can see there. Loads of different details have all been picked out and highlighted throughout on all the models, all the claws and everything. Same across the whole variation of this force. So that's one of the Lictors. And then uh, we'll pull forward the Turvagon slash Tyran effects. Same thing, it's all magnetized, so you, all the legs, head, everything is magnetized, so you can literally just change it around to the different options as, as per the client's request, uh, as you can see here. And uh, all the different areas of highlighting and all the chitin, as you can see the face there, all the, all the teeth and all the eyes all picked out, multiple highlighted, nice gloss there on the tongue as well to give it a wet kind of look as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's the Turbigon slash Tyrannifex. Uh, and then a more rare model, which is the uh, Man Scepter, which is a uh, Forge World model, as you can see here. Again, really eerie. Looks a bit like a uh, Venthrope, but just uh, obviously a lot worse. Uh, loads and loads of sort of sacks with all sort of different sort of mucus and liquid in them, as you can see there. All the claws all picked out and highlighted, as you can see. And a really nice sort of uh, eerie base as well to go with it, just to match with the Venom. A little bit of pus that just dripped down as well, which is really cool. And uh, all the different areas of detail all picked out and all the different areas of chitin all highlighted, as you can see there and then uh, we'll pull forward the big man himself the Demacaron which is a really cool character from uh, from Forge World as you can see here uh, 
huge model, loads and loads of detail, dripping with uh, dripping with detail on this model, which is really, really nice. And as you can see, it all picked out. Uh, the rib cage all sort of highlighted there with all different areas, all the different areas of sort of chitting all picked out, as you can see there. All the stretched sinew and skin there as well picked out. Great, great forge weld model as well with a really cool base as well, or part of the foot which that's on as well, which is really nice. Uh, but a massive, massive model. Uh, really, really horrible in game as well if you've ever played one. Uh, so that is uh, pretty much the majority of the force, guys. Uh, this is the, the first section of the video. Up next, we've got loads of troops, and then we're going to finish off with some of the other monsters, creatures, and big ones for you. So I do hope you like this intro section. Stick around. The next section is coming up now. Loads of troops, and uh, prepare to see a swarm. See you in a sec. Hey guys, and here are all the troops of this huge Tyranid army that we've had in the studio. Now, every single one of these has got multiple highlights on it, has got fully edged on all different parts of the chitin. It's also got, obviously, all the claws, teeth, eyes, everything picked out. So the detail work has really been gone to town on this commission. I'm going to pull forward a couple of the models so you can have a look at. So to start off with, we'll have a look at some of these really cool rippers. These are the Forge World uh, sculpts, so they're really, really cool because they actually you know emphasise what rippers would be like in a sense of a rabble of loads and loads of like, tiny creatures all just clawing away to get at you and uh, we all of them piling on top of each other there and this really cool sculpt you can see really see that sort of uh, fluff and background on, on these creatures uh, but as you can see all the detail work all picked out the tongues teeth eyes all the sort of multiple highlights on the skin and also on the uh, on the edge edging on the uh, chitin sort of armor as well so that's just the rippers and uh, rather than me climbing over and knocking the camera possibly I've got a, a couple of here at the front just so you can have a look at so we'll start off with the uh, the classic Gene Steeler uh, from GW Really, really nice model. Let's get that to focus for you guys. Uh, there you go. And you can see all sort of multiple highlighted in all the areas of the, of the sort of armor panels on the skin. All the eyes are all picked out on these as well. Um, sort of the claws are all edge highlighted. Uh, it's a really, really nice sort of, sort of pallid witch flesh kind of color on these as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's just one of the gene stealers, as you can see there. Pull forward uh, a couple of others. So we've got the Hormigants, probably my favorite uh, Tyranid bug uh, from the, the range. Uh, as you can see there, again, multiple highlighting throughout all the skin work, all the edging on all the claws. Uh, got really nice transition from bright to dark on the claws as well, which is really nice. All the eyes all picked out, teeth all picked out, tongue picked out. Uh, so lots and lots of detail work all done on these and to really make every model just have a little bit of character, make them really stand out and, and look really good as a unit or individual. As you can see there, so that's one of the Hormigants. Um, pull forward my next favourite, which is just one of the uh, termagants. So this one's just armed with a flesh borer, but as you can see there, the chitin's all edge highlighted and with detail work, and you've got all the sort of joints in the arms all sort of picked out with a nice contrasting purple, uh, just to go with the sort of chitin. And then you've got edging on all of the claws, on the gun casing, on all the different areas of the model as well, which is really nice. Eyes and teeth and everything picked out, so that's really really nice. So that's just one of the termagants, and then pull forward one of the gargoyles from the back which for the 19 there but this is just the other one uh, so as you can see that same again all sort of nice detail work picked out teeth tongue sort of all the little extra pits in between the arms and, and sort of on the on the tail as well all picked out so you can see that all the wings all done just to really give them nice contrast and sort of brownie sort of hide kind of color uh, so that's just one of the gargoyles uh, as you can see there now just to note none of the basing has been done just obviously the client is uh, going to be doing all the basing himself on this commission and uh, but that's a lot of the troops that are part of this huge army so there's loads of other monsters to come along and uh, I hope you liked it so far stick around back in a couple of seconds with the rest of the army Hey guys, and the last section of this Tyranid Army Commission has got a nice selection of models within it. Uh, so we've got three Carnifexes, quite a few Warriors, quite a few Raveners, we've got the Hive Chrome, we've got a nice uh, Tyranid Prime in there as well. Uh, plus at the back you've got the Great Big Tyranocyte, you've also got obviously a Toxicrine on the far right, and a really cool uh, Trigon as well. So let's pull a few of these models forward and have a look. We'll start with the Raveners. Um, so really nice uh, model Raveners, I thought they've always been really cool. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of detail work on them as well, all been picked out, all the individual little claws. Uh, as you can see, the eye, the teeth, the mouth, all been highlighted and picked out, just to give it that detail. Really nice transition, all dark red to the brightest point on the claws as well which is really really nice all the chitin multiple highlighted and given some depth and contrast just to really make it look like it's armor uh, and then you've also got all the nice purple sort of uh, sort of softer sort of uh, skin and, and things in between all the gaps that have all been highlighted there as you can see and also uh, given contrast just to make those areas stand out so that's one of the rabbits incidentally all the basing that you may see in this commission hasn't been done by us um Client wants to do the basing separately, which is totally cool. Another way we obviously work at the studio is you can choose what aspects of work we execute for you. Uh, so that's one of the Raveners, as you can see there. Pull forward the uh, Tyranid Prime, really cool model, totally different, and uh, it's fully magnetized as well, which is really nice. So you can remove it at the uh, the waist, 
Uh, the arms are movable as well, as you can see here, they're just magnetized, so you can change the position of the whip and things, give them kind of different pose, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's a Tyranny Prime. As you can see, they're all fully highlighted, and uh, all the details picked out, like the face, the teeth, the, the stretching skin, and the more of the mouth as well. Um, nice sort of subtle sort of transitional colors on the whip as well, just to really give it that emphasis of sort of a sheen. Uh, and then moving around the back, as you can see, you've got quite a few different aspects of chitin and armor that all been picked out, all the soft sort of membrane tissue between the joints as well has all been picked out as well. As you can see there, that's really nice, Tyranny Prime. Um, and then uh, let's pull forward a couple of other ones. So we've got the Carn Effects here, uh, one of three in this army. Uh, just get that to focus. As you can see there, again, same consistency of work throughout the commission. Uh, all the teeth, all the details, the eye all picked out, uh, all the soft issue, uh, areas of tissue on the model. Uh, some really nice accent colors like pink, for example, on that, uh, that sort of part on the top there with the Tacan effects. And uh, as you can see, again, all the highlighting on the, on the sort of the, um, claws and things have all been done, as you can see there. So that's really, really nice. Um, that's one of the kind effects is uh, Paul Ford, one of my favorite models in this army, which is the Trigon. Uh, there's quite a lot of conversion work involved with this just to make it look like it's actually ripping through the ground, which is really cool. Um, again, as you can see, the same consistency of work throughout the commission. Uh, all the different areas of this model really picked out. A lot of time has been spent, especially on the Chitin armor, where you can see all the sort of highlighting through different areas of purple, which is really nice. And uh, again, great sort of conversion there, it just looked like it curling through the, through the sort of ground, which is really, really cool. And uh, very, very aggressive, evil looking model, which is <laughs> that great big moor, as you can see there. So that's really cool. Uh, so that's a Trigon. Um, and pull forward uh, the Hive Chrome for you guys to have a look at. It's a really, really cool model. Um, uh, and uh, one of the things that we've done on it, or that's been done, is it's been magnetized so that uh, many of the missiles can be sort of removed, uh, as you can see here. So, for example, they're all fully magnetized, so you can literally just clip on during game, which makes them quite useful. Just counting how many shots you fired. Again, really, really le leathery kind of look on the wings, which has been an effect that's been created on the model. And uh, as you can see, all the sort of highlighting on the chitin as well, just to give it that real sort of armored kind of look. Uh, and again, on the, underneath all the softer sort of tissue and membranes all been sort of picked out and highlighted as well, uh, along with these really sort of pink sort of sack parts on the bottom on the underneath as well. So that's the Hive Chrome. Uh, just getting back on his base. Um, and then we'll have a look at the uh, transite, which is the large, large bit in the center of this uh, video, as you can see there. Uh, a great model. A little bit of magnetizing work has been done to it, so you can have a look at that. Uh, it comes with a fair number of different weapons uh, or, or, that you can obviously sort of attach to the model. So they've all been magnetized, so they can be removed, as you can see there. Really nice sort of colors that have been used as well on here, just to really give the flesh some sort of interest. Uh, just picked out all the veins, as you can see there, which is really, really nice. Um, again, on the top part as well, with the more where the mouth is, we use some greens and pinks in there just to really give it sort of an icker kind of look, and all the bones sort of multiple highlighted to make those areas stand out, as you can see there, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's one of the larger models in the army. Uh, and then pulling forward one of my other models in there, which has got quite a bit of magnetizing work involved with it, is actually the Toxicrine. Uh, so if we pull this forward, uh, you can see, obviously, that it's got another option available. Uh, so what has actually been done is we've magnetized it so that, you know, you can literally just clip on the other head, clip on the, um, and the arms are fully sort of removable as well. These are actually pinned, so they just swivel out of the model, and then you can attach the other ones, as you can see there. Uh, but really, really sort of cool model. Again, with the cut painting, a nice sort of transition from the cream to the green on the end of the whips as well, and the claws all multiple highlighted there. And if we just have a look on the side pro, profile of the model as well as you can see all the sort of brain matter on the side there as well has all been picked out and glossed as well to get a real sort of icker sort of um, sort of translucent kind of effect to it which is really really nice and then all the veins and everything picked out as well so really really cool model and uh, with the other options as well with it with the magnetizing it makes it very flexible for when you want to play on game as well which is really really cool and just put the hive chrome back. So that's the uh, last part of the army, guys. I was going to say, like, uh, there's quite a large amount of models in this army, as you'd expect, with any Tyranid army. Uh, if you guys are interested in sort of big army commissions, we do obviously execute them, as you can see, hopefully, from this video. Uh, any questions at all, then all our contact details can be found in the bottom of the description of this video, along with our website and all the links to our social media. So please go check us out and uh, give us a follow on any one of those. With this video and with the YouTube, please do drop us a quick subscription and subscribe to us. It really does help. We appreciate you guys checking out the videos that we uh, we complete and put up for, for you guys to see. So I uh, hope to hear back from you soon. Chuck some comments below. And as always, guys, please like, please comment, and please subscribe. We really appreciate it a lot, and we hope to see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.